All right, all you YouTube haters, I'm doing another video on protein shakes again. Again, these are uh, pretty good before bed uh, or in the morning when you got to run out the door to get to work because you woke up later, get to class or something like that. Now, normally uh, I run one cup of egg whites and then one cup of water. Today, though, doing something different, I put some strawberries in there, okay? And that's one of the advantages of living in West Coast Cali. You can get nice fresh strawberries. There's like five of them in there. Uh, two cups of water. I'm going to add the Smileplax packet in there. I'm going to add these oatmeal, half a cup. And because, like I said in the last video, I'm a little larger than some guys and smaller than others, of course. But my protein requirements are about 60 grams. Uh, and this only has 42. So what I have here, this is just bulk whey protein. Uh, 10 pounds comes out to be less than a dollar a scoop, way less actually. Uh, probably 57 cents to 45 cents, somewhere in there. It has no flavor, no taste, no nothing. It's It does mix fine, but it's not the best tasting thing on it by itself. But you add it to whatever you're drinking, and now you've just hit your 60 gram requirement. Because it's uh, just a whey concentrate, 20 grams of protein in that scoop. Some more ideas. This is something, a uh, free shout out to uh, mildmill.com. If you like to change your flavors of your protein shakes, or if you just like to eat oatmeal, this is a good option. Uh, this flavor right here, I had them make. It's cookie dough and peanut butter. Uh, tastes really good in your, in your vanilla protein shakes that you blend up. Um, they got 22 billion combinations. They got a lot of flavors with sweetener, without sweetener. I mean, you name it. This is a good company. And again, it helps make your shakes taste better than just regular oatmeal. Today I'm using regular oatmeal. Another thing when you're using the vanilla um, protein shakes, you can add vanilla to them. It tastes pretty good. Another idea, peppermint extract. Uh, again, tastes, you know, really good. In your, in your protein shakes, it gives it a little different flavor from your vanilla. Believe it or not, uh, cookies, you know, one or two cookies blend in your protein shake. Off season, it makes it, again, a different flavor. Uh, Oreos, I find is the best. Vanilla wafers work as well. These are snickerdoodles. Um, I've tried them, uh, you know, two of them in there. Not bad, not great, you know, it's just, it's just something different, you know. So I'm real creative in what I throw in my protein shakes. It's not always just fruit, you know. I do a lot of fruit. Yes, a lot of fruit because it's healthier, antioxidants, yada, yada, yada. But, um, you know, sometimes I crave some more sweet stuff off season. So I'll throw two Oreos in this bad boy. And again, I won't use strawberry. I'll use vanilla. I generally use everything vanilla because you can make anything in vanilla and make it taste good. With chocolate, you're kind of limited to what you can add to it. I mean, I guess you could put Oreos in chocolate or wafers or whatever. The peppermint tastes good in there for sure. So, uh, and of course, uh, you know, your regular bland oatmeal. Anyway, I'm not going to mix this because you know how that goes. That's the ingredients. Is, it's about 50 grams of carbs plus whatever's in this Myoplex packet. Uh, additional 23 grams of carbs there. And then I have an extra scoop of just whey concentrate protein. No flavor, no nothing in it. Virgin. All right. So that should be good. If you have more questions, hit me back.